inevitably, almost every single time I ask this question, what is the area of a square? Or what is, I'm sorry, not the area of a square. But what is the, yeah, even the area of a square. What is the area of a rectangle? Every single time, I almost always get this. So I say, um, area equals length times width. Or area equals base, base times height. And then I say, all right, well, what's the area of a triangle? And they say, oh, it's easy. Area equals one half, length times width. Or area equals one half, base times height. Wow, that's a horrible age. Well, which one do you use? And are they the same? And the answer is, yes, they are the same. Um, however, you've got to be very careful on when to use one and when not to use one. Because even though they are the same, they can get very confusing. Um, when given a right triangle, meaning my angle has a my triangle has a right angle, I have a I have a base, and this could also be my length or my width. Then I have a height or a length. So you have two different sides, right? So it's very easy. You can either do base times height, or you could do length times width. It doesn't matter. We can't confuse these, right? So it doesn't matter which one you use when you have a right triangle. However, uh, when you have something like an oblique triangle where it's not a right angle, all right, we have now three different sides and we have a height. So it gets very confusing. Now, well, what do I multiply by? Because if I say area equals length times width, well, if you're thinking length and width like it's a right triangle, you're going to think 5 times 12 or 5 times 19, right? It can get pretty confusing. So we don't like to use length times width for this because... 5 times 12 or 5 times 19 times 1 half is not going to give you the area of a triangle. The area of a triangle, when you have an oblique triangle, is 1 half your base times your height. All right? So that's the same thing over here. This is still base, and that can still be height. Right? But an oblique triangle, you need to make sure that you don't get that confused with your other two sides of your triangle. So for this triangle, I have area equals 1 half 5 times 8. So area equals 1 half 5 times 8 is 40. Area equals 20. So that's how you find the area um, of an oblique triangle.